What's up, people? Just wanted to do a quick update on my uh, Alien FX visualizer for the, the Winamp. Uh, I did miss a pretty big part that it seems to be the one thing that's hanging a lot of people up. So hopefully this will clear things up and get you guys uh, up and running. If you haven't yet gotten up, uh, given up on it. Uh, anyways, once you have everything uh, done from the first video, you're going to want to go over here to select plugin, just like I just like I note. Uh, start plugin, hit configure. Now you got all these sliders, and your zones area here is empty. So this is the one thing I forgot to mention. So you're going to want to click add. I've already got left keyboard, left middle, right middle. Uh, I'm just going to type in right keyboard. Hit OK. Now you'll see right keyboard is now here under zones. Click edit. And then you'll see here there are your frequencies and your lighting zones. Now if you notice here on the sliders, there's 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 12. They're in groups of 4, so that's kind of what I did. I just moved them over in groups of 4 and I associated a lighting zone to them. So right now the the right middle portion of the keyboard is gonna be controlled by the 13 through 16 slider which is this guy here. Once you've got your frequencies moved over and associate it with a lighting zone you can choose whatever color you like. You can go here to custom colors, uh, make a color that you like, choose the saturation, add the color, and then now there it is available for you to pick. So just play around, have some fun with it, or you could pick random. Uh, the random thing is kind of like a little strobe effect that cycles through a bunch of colors really quickly. But once this is all done, you close it up, and then you click Add Again. And let's name this one uh, Lid LEDs. Click OK. Here we have them underneath here in the Zones uh, section again. Highlight it, edit, move over your frequencies, and move over the lighting zone you want to associate them with. Choose your color, you leave it blue, and that's it. So you're going to want to go through this until all of your frequencies on the right here have been associated with all of your lighting zones over here. You can do it however you like. Uh, once it's all done, then you obviously you, you want to start a song. And then you'll notice all your little sliders start rocking up. So the bottom sliders I just keep all the way down here because you can see they don't really fluctuate very much. Up here is where all the action is. So this is where I'll actually uh, move my sliders. Now one more thing, uh, once you have the sliders, because you can actually see in real time the difference is where the slider position is on your what's it, the lighting on your keyboard. Once you have them where you want them, and you save the configuration, and you close it, you'll notice that the sensitivity kind of goes up a little bit. Uh, anyway, I would just go right back into configure move all the sliders up just a little bit to kind of make up for your jump in sensitivity. And then, again, save and shut it down. And just mess around with it until you've got something that you really want. So, hopefully this works out, gets you guys up and running. Again, I apologize. I know it's been a long time since I first posted this video. Uh, uh, this amendment was obviously needed. Um, but uh, if you see other people in the comments struggling or having issues with something that you feel like you can help them out with, please do. If it worked out for you, leave a like uh, and a comment in the description if you uh, guys want to. Configure it up. Take videos of your configuration and post it up so you can share it with everybody else. All right. You guys.